Hello again. Now that the Women's Prize for, um, for Fiction has finished and we've got to wait another nine months for the next lists to come out, I'm starting to go through previous prize winners of other prizes. And I've, I'm starting with the Goldsmiths Prize, which is one that is awarded for innovation in writing, creativity. And the first one that I've got is the 2016 winner, Solar Bones by Mike McCormick. McCormack, sorry. And it, I went into it not knowing what it was about because I didn't read the blurb. I just picked it up because, okay, 1 2016, I'll do that one. So I never read the blurb. And it was only after I'd finished it that I did read the blurb. And in this edition, which is the um, Tramp Press edition, the blurb at the back gives away the spoiler. And I am so pleased that I never read that before I started the book, because I think it would have changed my whole reading experience. Looking at comments, I can see that the author did want that spoiler at the back. Um, but for me personally, for me, for me personally, I'm so pleased I didn't read it because I think I would have approached the book very differently. It is 223 pages of one sentence. It is just one stream of consciousness. Very, very little punctuation. Um, and at the start, you think this is going to be off-putting, but it isn't. I didn't find it off-putting at all. This is one man, Marcus Conway, who sits in his kitchen and listens to the Angelus Bell at midday on All Souls Day. And it's him reflecting on his life. Wife and children aren't there. They're not due back until four or five o'clock. So he's got the house to himself and he reflects on his life. And this stream of consciousness is... As we all do, we start thinking of something, then something sparks us on a different direction and then we go back to where we started and then we, we move again into a different direction. And this is what he's doing. And you can hear him. You hear his voice. And you hear about his work, his family, his love for his wife. He discusses art because his daughter's a conceptual artist. He discuss, discusses love. We, we flit backwards and forwards as his mind is going off on different tangents. We go back to childhood. We go back to when he first met his wife. We go back to discussions he's had at work because he's an engineer when he's, he's come up with a, against counsellors and decisions are made by politics rather than engineering, the engineer always has to back down to the politician. And it is such a beautiful book because you are with this man the whole time and the book lasts for one hour. It lasts until the one o'clock news. So it goes from the Angela Spell at 12 o'clock to the one o'clock news. So this is an hour of him reflecting and you learn so much about him. And he is such a quiet man and by the end of the book you feel that you know him I thought it was absolutely wonderful and the libraries contacted me today and the 2017 winner by Nicola Barker that is waiting for me to pick up so you know until the book along list is announced in July I'm going to work my way through previous winners of different prizes so Absolutely loved it. A haunting book. And um, if you if you persevere with it, don't get put off by the fact that it is just one long 
sentence that there's very little punctuation because you soon get into the flow and you soon hear this man talking. So that's Solar Bones. Happy reading. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.